Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you the type of operator. And this essentially allowed you to check some you know, information from data and check the data type of it. So if I create a variable, call it var1, and assign the value of 10,001. If I want to make it symmetrical, 10,001. And now if I do console.log, and I'm going to console log, you put type of, as you can see, it's changed color. It's a built-in keyword. Type of var1, save that, reload. It is a number. If, however, I create a new variable, and I'll call it var2, and I'll put a string, so hello world. And I copy and paste this. it says it is a string. So this allows you to check the data type. This is really, really useful. What I would recommend is check this video, which I'm sure you're already doing if you're listening to me, obviously. Have a look at the conditional statements video, which is essentially the if statements. Once you're familiar with that, or you can use a conditional operator if you want, if you prefer that. Um, I prefer conditional statements. Either way, one of the two and essentially check if one of these, or let's say if var1 equals a number, so this, then print something out. Instead of just printing out the data type, print out something like this is a number. Else, this is not a number. You know, um, or, or an else if, which is something that you'll learn from the conditional statements video. So that is it for the type of operator. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and I will assist you. As usual, the GitHub link will be provided as well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next programming video.